This unique video shows the fluid misdirection during the surgery, a very rare capture of an image, 2.8 millimeter translimbal keratome entry, CCC followed by hydrodissection. This is an eye which has been vitrectomized and it's filled by silicon oil and posted for cataract surgery followed by silicon oil removal through past planar approach. Nuclear hemipieces were removed, cortex aspirated. You can see the silicon oil shimmering through the posterior capsule. Certain deposits are there on the back of the capsule which cannot be removed. Iowal is placed in the bag. The fluid balance was very well done between the anterior and posterior. Watch on the right side the fluid wave is traveling across and meeting another fluid wave coming from the other direction. Let us go see it slowly. You can see at 4 o'clock position the fluid wave starts and goes to the left obstructing the silico silicon oil shimmering. The pressure is low. It's not very high. Let us see it very slowly. Pressure was low at the end of the surgery. I reformed the chamber which made the AC to deepen a little bit. You can see the fluid wave which is obviously traveling from the zonular side across the patellar fossa to the other side where it meets another fluid wave coming from 10 o'clock position. This is a marvelous video showing zonal supporters and fluid in the anterior chamber can reach the vitreous cavity. I have demonstrated this time and again. Tripan blue injected in a closed eye without letting the aqueous ooze out at the same time can percolate through the zonules, intact zonules, into the vitreous cavity. This has been seen periodically. The second is whenever you are doing hydrodissection, ensure that the tip of the cannula is directed towards the equator but is positioned under the anterior capsular edge lest it may go in front of the anterior capsule and even a slightest pressure of injection of the uh, balanced salt solution can reach through the zonules into the vitreous cavity and intraoperative hard eye is often seen uh, uh, you know, unexplained, uh, but this has happened because of fluid misdirection into the vitreous cavity. One has to be extremely careful, especially when the AC is being deepening with any technique, to ensure that the fluid wave is not directed between the anterior capsule and the iris towards the zonular apparatus. Thank you.